Hi, this is TapCat. Welcome back to my fourth season of XCOM 2. Today we go on a guerrilla ops mission to protect a device and find that the aliens are blasting the bejesus out of it starting on our very first turn. Then I try out my new gunslinger's hidden ability and find out it doesn't work quite like I thought it did. So, as usual, things don't always go like we plan, but we'll do our best to overcome these petty obstacles and hopefully bring everyone home alive. Well, it's a good ways ahead. We'll see how this goes. Here I come. Mm hmm. Wow, really? We've got Advent here. Okay. I don't usually have that happen uh, when I just move up the one time. So I am a little surprised. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll try to make do. So, obviously, you know, I could use some run and gun here if I wanted to. Um, I don't know what kind of chance to hit Jack would have from here. But I'll tell you what, I'm ready to find out. It's possible I should have just used somebody else because they would have so much better of a chance. But, let's see. All right, scratch one codex. You want some more? That definitely helps. And with implacable, I can come up here, and I probably just will. I think so. I don't even think I'll wait because somebody else actually might want that spot. <gasps> okay. <laughs> mm, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Just possibly. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, it sucks that that's only half cover. This is full cover. We're, let's see. Yeah, this is uh, not great, to be honest. Amanda. Well, I don't really want half cover unfortunately she's not in a position to hit the Andromedan I have no chance to kill this guy I can only hurt him that kind of sucks that kind of sucks she could kill him but boy I'm leaving her exposed Hmm. Honestly, though, I am and I'm not. Um, I'm going to do this. Let me try. I think that's enough. The fire should kill him. Okay, good. So, Amanda, I don't need you to do that. Can you? Not really. Not really. So I'll probably just put her on Overwatch. I don't know that I should stack these guys next to each other. That's kind of begging the Andromedan to do something really bad. Is... What? Oh, brother. He has Phantom? I didn't even remember that. No kidding. Well, this isn't amazing, but I think I'm going to do it because I really don't want this guy throwing a shield up. Let me just say that. And if he does, I'd like it to be extremely easy to kill him. 
Yeah, I, I gotta stay behind this cover. Alright. Ah, Sam, can you actually do anything meaningful? I'm not using run and gun. I'm just gonna trigger somebody else if I do that. So, what if I did something like, yeah, no, see, I have to worry about triggering somebody no matter what I do. Okay, I tell you what, um, I'm going to throw a Mimic Beacon um, right here. Because we're going to have way too many guys left and I don't want to run him forward and he doesn't have a good shot. So, the thing I think I will do... I'm going to give the Swede aid protocol. I thought about taking a shot at the guy who's burning solely for the sake of getting the kill on somebody who could use the promotion. Uh, but I think it's actually better to not do that. And then I'm just going to put her on Overwatch. And if one of those guys moves forward, she has a real chance at a kill. So that's him. And I believe there's three other guys. So we'll see what happens there. All right. Somebody shooting at the device. That's not great for me. Especially doing seven a turn. That should finish him, right? Yep. So no more Guardian. Enemy destroyed. And then we have the Codex and the Andromedan. And I'm hopeful that the Mimic Beacon can absorb those two shots. Yeah, we got this. As long as... Now the Codex may not even see it. It's pretty far back. But there you go. All right. I mean, that plan, considering we triggered an extra pod, that came together about as well as you could ask for. So, he has a pretty crap chance to hit the Codex. <laughs> wow. Now, that Andromedan, he, uh... He is dug in. I can come here, but that's kind of scary. If I don't get that kill, is there any way that I can get? Um, yes, there is. Okay, I still need to worry about the possible revealing another um, pod. Okay, but I didn't. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab him. He can see it from here. So this is my thing. Even if all he does is get holo targeting on and that is probably where we're at it'll help because the swede can probably finish well not probably he can finish him for sure especially now that he hit um and by that i don't necessarily mean both lives i mean this life and that's going to give him implacable and untouchable but I only have a 93% chance, so should I move forward? Should I use run and gun and try to get to 100? Why do I not have it? It's just Yeah, because his aim is 80. And my weapon range, I'm getting a bonus, but not enough. And he does get defense, right? Yeah, it's 10 defense. Oy. Okay, this, I think I'm being silly. I'm just going to do this. I'll hit at least one of these. Wow, so I did miss the first one. That's terrible. All right. But I don't even actually have to move him now that I think about it. Leave him there and let the stupid uh, Andromeda take a shot at him. You know, it's fine with me. 
Axe burning. Damn it. Let go do this. <sighs> I'm going to try healing him up. I believe that'll put out the fire. And he hasn't even been wounded yet, I just realized. So let me let me do this too. I'm going to move her here now. I'll move her here. I really want her here. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I'm terrified of revealing a pod. Okay, she can't see the Andromeda, but when he moves forward, she will. Covering now. now, this is who I really want. I'm going to move him forward. And I'm going to heal. And I believe this puts out the fire. So, if it does, maybe Jack won't even be wounded. Does look like the fire is gone. So I do want to move her forward, and I think I'll bring her right here. Location confirmed. Hopefully that doesn't do anything awkward, like revealing a pod. Okay, okay that's it. End the turn. This guy should just come up and take a punch at the Swede, which won't do anything. Yeah, I don't have a lot of turns. I got to get up there, man. This I also anticipated. Yep, see she's got the uh, blue screen round, so she hurt him pretty badly. Yep, untouchable fool. Crap, I don't have time for that, man. Seriously, I don't have time. <laughs> Okay, um, wow. I mean, we could fail this mission if we don't get our butts over here, but I also don't want to be... Oh, doggone you. All right. Well, I guess before I do anything else, let me do this. I move Sam up. Because if I can, I'm going to get him the kill. And if I can't get it for him, you know, like I'll try Alessandro. Somebody who needs it. He's one short. I love that crap, man. I swear to God, this game just like reads your mind. <laughs> so I'm going to just put Jack on Overwatch. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna try to get it for Alessandro. He has ninety nine percent, so I tell you what. I will move here. Rolling. So that I am continuing to move forward. That guy also got me to a hundred percent. We'll chalk this guy up as another kill for Alessandro. I believe he's a captain, so he definitely has room to go up. Now, the Swede, ugh, I don't think I have a choice. I think I need to come back. Finally. Man, I'm going to have to do some freaking um, reloads and all kinds of stuff. I'm, on the move. I'm terrified of this fire, too. Okay. Let's move already. Put her here. And I'll be on pistol overwatch. I'm on it. Okay, we got a codex and it uh, looks like a couple of trooper types. That's awkward. Wow, come on. So ridiculous. Jeez, man. It's the all rookie squad. Oh, XCOM.
Yeah, I got like two turns, three turns, and they're gonna kill that thing. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna bring him in here. Tired of waiting around. And I sure hope I can get through this armor with one shot. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Free reload. Rapid fire. You're gonna die. Mr. Elite Heavy Man. You gonna die. Wow, it's past tense now. Sorry. Uh, Jack. Jack boy. Uh, hang on for just a second with him because I am in just a little bit of a pickle here. She's a 100% chance at that one. So... Oof. Can I even kill this? Oh, I can if I do this. Okay. I'll do that. I sure hope this works. It's going to be extremely awkward if it does not. Uh, and it did not work. Awesome. Yeah, that's not good. I hurt him. Which is something. Well, I could hurt him some more. What would this do? If I may be so bold as to ask. If it restores all action points, that would be really outstanding. I'm not going to say what I think the likelihood of that is. Well, this would be sick. Uh, this right now would just get me blasted. So I'm going to... Chill on that momentarily. And I'm going to fire. I'm probably going to end up having to use a mimic beacon. Something I really don't have time for. Because I need to just like seriously get my butt moving. So Alessandro has a mimic beacon. Um, so Jack can kill either of these two. And she can definitely kill that one. See, this is this is my problem. <laughs> okay, you know what? Maybe it's not as much of a problem. Oh, this is rough. Let me do this. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Son of a bee. <laughs> Wait, she has hollow targeting, right? So did I put hollow targeting on that guy? Because it doesn't look like it. How come he doesn't have it, may I ask? Shouldn't he? That's what this is, right? Any directed sniper rifle shot. Okay. I didn't realize that. Thought it would work for gunslinger stuff too. Okay. Let me do this. I am... Going to use her to kill that. And yes, I'm going to... Oh my god, I didn't reload. That was bad. So I get two more to go. Good riddance. Jack can kill one. Can you kill the other? The other one's already dead. It's already dead. I don't even need to fire. Okay. Well, then I will shoot this one if I can. And then Jack could move forward. No, nope, not good enough. Yeah, I didn't get it. Damn you. Well, Jack, old boy. Let's see if you can make a hundred percent. Good. Nothing else has been going right. You see that? Okay, this guy should be dead. 
Uh, so I am just going to come out as far as I can. And I'm going to do the same thing with the Swede. Uh, but I kind of don't want to burn up. So I think what I'll do is I'll come here and give myself just a little bit of room. I could even do that. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reload them and go on Overwatch. And then if the guy by some miracle lives, we should get a shot off, even though we probably just miss the armor. He only took one damage because of the armor. Didn't think about it. I'm in trouble, in case you're wondering. All right, well, that part worked out. Enemy eliminated. But I am in deep crap on failing the mission, potentially. Because they've been shooting at it since the very beginning of the mission. And um, basically, okay, this is weird. Okay. <laughs> See, when I put my mouse where the top, oh, 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 there we go. I mean, should I use run and gun? Should I come here? I will. Maybe I can pull them forward. At least, you know, if they shoot at me, they're not shooting at the stupid uh, device. Because they really need them to not do that. So I'm thinking I'm going to just take my best shot here. Uh, before I do, that's actually being a little stupid. Where's Alessandro? I know I've got him. So he can't see the bot. That's what I wanted to know. I'm probably using a mimic beacon this turn, and I think it's going to have to be his. So the next question is, can Amanda possibly do anything? I think she's got to run around Jack, so maybe that's the next thing I need to do is grab him. Whew, man. I'm not sure I'm going to use a Mimic Beacon for him. Or Run and Gun, I think, is actually what I meant to say. <laughs> um... I do kind of want to move him forward though. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move him up so that next turn he can kick some butt. And then I'm going to go ahead and just have Alessandro like throw this here. And I can't imagine, yeah, because she needs to reload too. So let's get her out of the burning building <laughs> uh, and reload. And then next turn, she'll actually do me some good. So, interesting question here. Like, should I just try to shred that armor and get a start on him? I don't think so. At least this way, I have a chance. I could legitimately kill him. So I've already got the first hit. Yeah. We did it. And now it's just these two guys left. I'm pretty sure they're sh both sh going to shoot at the beacon. And that's really, really good for me. I'm not going to move him forward uh, because I do not want to screw with revealing another pod. In fact, I'm not even going to come here. Uh, I'm just too anxious about doing that. Lee. Yeah, I'll do this. I thought about doing the hack. I just don't, I don't think it's going to mean anything. Uh, oh, you, you beautiful thing. Uh, I don't really feel like she's doing me a ton of good back here. So I think what I'm going to do is just come up. And I don't know if there's another pod. I won't be a bit surprised. 
Haven't been keeping track of how many guys we faced so far. Oh. So he just moved twice, but he's made himself extremely killable. And he's jamming his baton up the beacon's butt. And that's that. These guys are as good as dead. So I think once again, like what it really comes down to is, um, you know, who can you feed the kill? Now, I would very much like to get Alessandro a kill. Um, where it gets tricky is, you know, he doesn't necessarily have a good shot at either of these guys. So unless Amanda could somehow set him up. So let me see if she could get a plasma grenade back there and like wreck all their cover and wound them and stuff. That would work, right? That would work. If it'll stop jumping around and just stay. There you go. So... The one guy has eight health. But unfortunately, <laughs> that's not the one you can really see. All right. I have an 80% chance this is uh, not correct. This is. I'll just do it. I mean, honestly, like, it's not the end of the world either way. Well, he got it in one shot. Good man. Target neutralized. So what I could do, where's... um you like I could move him here and I'm not going wow I actually have a pretty crappy yeah I'm trying man uh, let me see if this updated no I only have a 77% chance even with the flank um, so what I was going to do and I I guess, ugh. I mean, I could move her here and, and finish him if I need to. Where's Jack? I need to know beyond all doubt. Okay, let me do this. Oh, hell, I could actually kill him. <laughs> I'm trying to find a way to just do a little bit of damage. And unfortunately, uh, everything is like too much. All right, I'll... I'll bring her here. If I trigger another pod, I'm going to be pissed. Okay. So this is going to be my only move. I have a pretty good chance of a crit, and then he's just going to die. Okay, he didn't, though. So I know the, the fire would kill him, but I am going to shoot anyway, specifically to get him the kill. All right, done. Whew, man, what I go through to get people promotions. And he got it. That's really nice. So I'll just move her here. Because that clearly is not all of the enemy we're going to have to face. Uh, I actually was thinking that was the sniper and it was Jack. Otherwise, I wouldn't have said I'm going to move her. Uh, I have a free reload, so I guess I don't need to worry about that. And since we actually have a little time for once, let's just see who else could use a reload. Uh, the thing that surprised me is how few did genuinely need one. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and overwatch all. And then I'll move up this turn. If we're, yeah, okay. We're going to see somebody. Another Andromedan, huh? I don't know that that pistol is going to do much. Yeah. And some kind of Mouton. Oh, I remember. It said like Pyro Mouton or something. All right. See, they didn't really move behind cover or anything. That's kind of interesting. Well, let's see. Alessandro, you're kind of the one I would like to lead off with here. 
But I don't... <sighs> Alright, whatever. Let me just come here. My concern is that I'm not going to be able to see them. Because of this. But we'll see. And I mean, it is or it isn't. You know, I can't do anything about it. Okay, so there's a couple ways we could go. I could just try to shred the armor, but I don't really want to do that. Rather than throw a grenade, I'd rather do this. Because now we got hollow targets. And I love me the hollow targeting. So, Amanda... I'm going to move you up. Out. Now, you can't see them. I was afraid of that. And Sam, you're really going to be kind of useless here. I don't think I dare leave her where she's at. Because she's already flanked. And they are not far enough to do that. Okay, so there's three. Well then, let's do this. Um... I'm going to hit one of these guys. Is it just me or is this feeling like it could be a mimic beacon turn? She has one. And Jack has one. And that's it. And I kind of want to use face off here. Or even Fanfire. Now he cannot use Run and Gun. If only he still had his... Um, <laughs> his Mimic Beacon. But I used it at a good moment. So, Alright. This should be pretty much a guarantee kill for the first half. No, we missed it. Well, I shouldn't have said pretty much. If he hit. And obviously that was not anywhere near 100%. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Um, Jack, you're going to... Wait, hold on. Yeah, you're going to use run and gun. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are getting in close, my friend. I'm actually seriously tempted to kill one of the Mutons here. That's... Hmm. I don't like the 93%. But that's a guaranteed kill. And not like this guy where I'd kill him for the first half. He's just down. And then Jack is untouchable. And I throw a Mimic Beacon? I like that. Jack and the Swede, we can we can lay this guy out no problem next turn. Amanda, I don't think she's going to see anything if I leave her where she's at. So I'm just going to move forward. I don't think Overwatch would do anything whatsoever. Now, um, I'll move him up. Kind of have the same issue, but I'll go on Overwatch. Uh, where? Yeah, this is what I need to do. Even though she could do some cool stuff here, I need to make sure that uh, I don't hang poor Jack out to dry. So I will go ahead, I think, and uh, like come back here maybe. Just in case some, like if, I can't really think of a scenario short of them both ignoring the beacon where he would get hurt, but really? All right. So is he going to use melee on the beacon? Yep. Pretty good one too. I think this is working out pretty much exactly the way I would have hoped. Yep. All right. We got this. So I am going to test something here. 
And somebody recently told me that when a ranger uses rapid fire on an Andromedan, that like the second shot would not happen until he respawns. Well, this shot should kill him. In ordinary circumstances, I could not walk up to an Andromedan with 24 health and armor, you know, and um, expect to kill him. But because he was already hurt, I can actually take the first shot and now we'll see if he's going to fire again. And it looks like no. It, it does not work. I am getting the implacable uh, move, but that's it. Fair enough. Okay, well, I'm going to bring Jack here. And I'm going to kill this guy. I don't like that. Please give me some good loot for once. Like a PCS or Fanster Peter. Wow. Thanks, bro. <laughs> okay. So she is definitely the one you want to have take this shot because of the blue screen rounds and the fact that he's a robot now. Uh, and I know I've been trying to get the kids kills, uh, but you know, I'm kind of ready to end this now and we did feed them at least a couple of kills and we even got a promotion for, uh, Sam. So that's good. All right. Well, uh, that thing still had a third of its health, the device we were here to protect. That's probably more you know than I thought it would uh, I was getting very nervous but seriously two more shots would have killed it so that's why I felt like we needed to hustle up the flawless helps a lot uh, we've had a number of people going into sick bay not to mention all the people that were killed or captured our roster overall is thinner there's no question about that but um I believe, I'm noticing this says most under fire mimic beacon decoy. I don't think any of our soldiers actually got fired upon this uh, this mission. I'm pretty sure that's true. Maybe I forgot something. So, overall, I'm pretty happy with the tactics I used there. There was that one moment when I had Amanda fire at the codex on the bridge and I forgot to reload. Uh, that was just sloppiness. And um, what upset me about that in particular is knowing we had to get going, you know, moving towards the device to protect it. And every action, you know, is critical when you're talking about being a turn away from losing, you know. So wasting an action like that, that, that upset me. But in the end, we did okay. And she even got to score the final killing blow. Yeah, so no promotion for Alessandro, but at least we got him one. Um, I still really like threat assessment, so I'm going to take that. Just makes um, aid protocol a lot better in my mind. Yeah, it's nice we got Illyrium cores. I wish I could break that down into the uh, Illyrium we need for our stuff. Uh, you know, this. That would actually be a very common sense mod. I don't know if there is such a thing, but th it seems to me at least like there ought to be. Yes, I would very much like to do that, but I think I was already working on one like that, wasn't I? Or, uh, or did I already get it? I guess weapons dealer. Okay. Okay. Well, we're desperate for Alarium, so. Actually, I shouldn't really say that. I think the normal plasma rifle is the only thing we still need. Okay, I'm, I'm skipping this cutscene as I do most of them. 
built the shadow chamber, we should be able to complete a more thorough analysis um. of the alien artifacts and data we've been recovering. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. In the field, the Codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. Please shut However, up. However, it was apparently not <sighs> immune to the... New objective added. Okay. Okay, good. So now we have this mission. We must make contact with the... Oh, brother. Okay, well, let me do this first. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start assigning scientists. Oh, uh, wait. Did that... S oh, purchase upgrade. I see. Can I? Yeah, I have the supplies. And I don't think I need another building, so I don't think power matters. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means okay. We can't our facilities Hopefully that will actually be the end of my problems with the research time. We'll start burning through this quick, pretty quick, you know, the backlog. Strategic resource located. Ooh, sweet. I uh, do not have the money to uh, buy the rifle now, <laughs> but we'll get some. When is the, um, so, oh, the supply drops in one day. Okay. Well, I had started making contact over here, but let's be honest, this is more important. So I'll do that. Only 80 intel. Yeah, yeah. There's like one region we don't have, so. 790. Got it. Thanks. I'll go ahead and do this. Um, yeah, that's probably going to be my thing. I'm going to go ahead and grab my supplies so I can get the rifle. That'll finally get us fully equipped in tier 3. Takes forever if a game will just let me finish it okay egg we will pick another thing for him stasis stasis is really good someday he'll be useful if we bring him on a mission probably around the time the campaign's done um i don't think i'm building anything yeah uh i think i'm fine we have another power thing, don't we? Am I wrong? I guess not. Uh, so we have one power thing I've upgraded to the fullest, but again, I don't think there's anything left to build. So I don't think it matters. Okay. Yeah, I may or may not do that. Now hold on. Um, let me go to engineering. And we're going to finally buy this. And there's no armor that we need. And there's really nothing in these items that I care about. All right. I think we're good. We're we're kind of getting there finally, you know kind of moving solidly into the late game. So did I? No, we still need to make contact with Western Europe. So we'll go do that. And if it reaches the point where we can do that mission, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do that next. And Mary is healed. Yeah, I don't care about this. <laughs> Seen it too many times, thanks. Use the skull jack on a codex. Oh, that's right. Now, you know what I have to remember, and I never do, is um, we're going to go ahead and do something else for a while. Uh, let me do this so I can get the decent swords. No, first I'll do the Andromedan, and then I'll do that. Because that'll help me upgrade the gremlins. And then we'll do the swords. Because they do come in handy. As much as I'm not, like, their biggest proponent by far... That doesn't mean they serve no purpose. They absolutely do. Okay. We're going to get to finish. Huh? Huh? Nope. 
<laughs> but now that I don't really need a larium anymore, the game's going to make sure I get a nice supply. Fair enough. Well, when we come back, we'll go on a supply raid. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.